we are going to finish my HGUC Juagu here, Clear Parts Burr from Unicorn Gundam. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. I do want to answer a couple of questions that I got about this guy right here. He has two gimmicks, which are really cool for an HG. His trunk does move. He has this actual wire material that goes through his snout. And each of these pieces are individual pieces of plastic I had to individually cut out. And his other gimmick also has to do with this head here. His other gimmick here is that you can move this little piece right here manually to make the mono eye move. Which is a pretty cool little gimmick. All right guys, let's get right into the video. It should be a super quick one. Let's go. Hello there, welcome back to the side of sanity. <laughs> I'm sorry for the excruciating footage, um, but basically these stickers were not wanting to cooperate very well, as you can see. I was using a dental pick and that's usually what I use. Um, that is not blood, by the way. <laughs> that is acrylic paint from my Exia project, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys here soon. But. What I decided upon, because upon further inspection, I am not the biggest fan, aside from this being annoying, I am not the biggest fan of how these are gonna look on these pieces. These little, these pieces right here are supposed to be that sticker. And I'm not the biggest fan of that, so I wanna do this like gunmetal or some other color and airbrush this. And then I want to use something, I'm not a big fan of how they don't connect. So what I'm wanting to do is leave him the majority of the way still clear, but I want to paint the finger joints and this red. For now though, I'm happy with how he looks and I'm gonna leave him alone. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you guys had to watch me struggle with stickers, but if you are a builder, then you are well aware of the frustrations that, you are well aware of decal frustration. And the reason why most people don't even like doing stickers to begin with, honestly, it's the biggest reason I like painting my kits. <laughs> 
unless I just like the kit and then usually I'll leave a kit alone and I won't put decals on it either. But we are going to put him on the little back shelf here and then I'll move it around later on. Hand grenades there. Sengoku, there we go. I'll, I'll probably put my Kshatriya up there. And let's put this cute little boy. Oh, well, let me give you a quick little look of him again really quick. Very, very cool kit. If you guys have any questions about him, definitely ask me. I would love to talk about him. He's chunky and sturdy enough as it is that he's not gonna need an actual action base or anything like that. I mean, he's a cute boy. He's the best boy. He's a chunky boy. And I'm really excited. Uh, I know a couple of you guys said that you were gonna buy it. Definitely tag me on Instagram or something like that. Send it to me. I would love to see yours. Oh, he's so cute. I'm gonna put him right there for right now and then you guys will see him in the next video. So thank you again for all the support. I will be doing a video in the future definitely on how to do these dry rubs. Thank you guys so, so, so much. All right, bye guys. See you tomorrow.